Welcome back to The Commit Show, where I'm here today to break down one of the biggest mysteries in our community. What is the Summer Sun Update? Since being released in early access, Dinkum has received several big updates. The first update being housewarming, followed by Bloom and Spring, which was about six months ago. Which brings us to where we are right now, which is the cusp of the Summer Sun Update. James loves keeping us on the hook, and one of the things that he loves doing the most is not tell us when we're going to get it. I can't even ask the question. I didn't even ask, you know, the big question, which I'm sure everyone's going to want to know. But I'm sure you get that. that? The question that we shall not mention. I don't know what you're talking about. One of the very first hints of the Summer Sun update that we got was proximity chat. This enabled talking close to each other and also a stereoscopic effect when you're running around in circles. Okay, what if I run in circles around you? One of the other things that James teased us as an experimental thing was PvP. Both players had to consent and there was a 10 second timer which would enable or disable PvP. While these features were removed in the experimental branch, will they make the return to Summer Sun? We'll find out. James Bennon, the sole developer of Dinkum, loves to drop teasers in live chats. This was one of the first images that was teased by James. The community went wild speculating exactly what building it was. One of the other teasers that James released was another angle of the building, which also highlighted the hill's hoist and this wide entrance sign. Many speculated if the entrance was the entrance to the building, some other area, or just a new sign. Which brings us to this picture here. This was dropped on one of my live streams, and it shows a tropical island, but hey, guess what? We're in winter. That's weird. As with any teaser that James drops us, it's not what you can see, it's what you can't see. One of the first obvious things like I mentioned was the fact that it's sunny and it's winter. The second thing people spotted was new vegetation that was growing in the tropical area. Last but certainly not least, if you missed it, there was this blue thing in the corner. What could it be? It was later revealed in an official announcement from James Benden that the new building would be unofficially called an airport, and also there would be a new feature called dynamic weather. This will present new challenges as we'll have changing weather throughout the day. Again, it's not what you can see, it's what you can't see. Now I know many of you are looking at this like stumps, why, who cares, right? But these stumps are not normal size, these are huge. In a recent teaser image, you can see this new halt sign that's customizable, perhaps, but also, more importantly, you can see these large trees in the distance. James once again blew our minds with all of these new pathing colors. I'm just over the moon. Now, I know, call me crazy, but I can't wait to make a whole bunch of helipads out of these. Now, as we look closer, we can see that James is wearing a lifeguard outfit. And over here, we have hay bales, including solar panels in his pocket. You can see the solar panels in this teaser image. Are they required to charge your tools now? Or do they simply enhance the speed of the charge? Next we have what appears to be a new fertilizer. Does it enhance the crops more? Could this be a new type of deck or decoration? We also notice the sand fence. Will it work similar to the ramps and emulate whatever material it's on? If you look really closely, we have this frisbee looking thing. What could it be for? One of the things that's common in Deacon is the color coding system. This would suggest that that frisbee looking thing is a tool or a weapon of some sort. Can we just appreciate for a second some of the mood lighting that may be added in the Summer Sun update? Like, whoa, that's crazy. Floor lights? Last but certainly not least, we have a couple of things that are work in progress. We don't really know if these are going to be the final form, but this is this pergola. And then finally, another work in progress thing, we have curtains. Well, I guess that's curtains for this video. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye!